Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Catherine's Plates. I've got my son with me this morning because it's breakfast time. I think, or in our case, it's brunch time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he, wanted to make, <laughs> he wanted to make a casserole, but he wanted to make that sausage and gravy casserole that we made about a month ago. Oh, yeah. He loved that one. And it had the eggs in there, and we baked it in the oven. It was so delicious. But I'm like, well, I already gave that one to you guys. So yeah. how about we do a bubble up crescent roll breakfast casserole. It's very simple, you guys, to put together. And it's really fast to eat. So if you're ready, are you ready? Oh, I'm ready. I know he's I ready. I woke up ready. <laughs> he did. <laughs> he made me get up and get ready. OK, so what we're going to do is I'm going to have Joseph start browning up some sausage. And then I'm, I'm going to start chopping up some vegetables. Okay, now I am chopping up really fine a yellow onion. And I'm going to be cutting up some peppers also. Now I'm using green and red because they're Christmas colors. It'll be perfect for this dish. But you can do all kinds of things. If you want to do like spinach, broccoli. I would just say just kind of cook everything up first so it has a nice texture. How's it going over there, Joseph? Um, about as well as I couldn't get the sausage off the packaging. Oh. It was stuck That's what I was laughing at. That was so funny. <laughs> that was not funny at all. <laughs> okay, now while I'm chopping this stuff up, I'm just going to go ahead and add it to the sausage so that it all cooks together. We don't need a separate pot for this. You want the meat masher? That'd be nice. Alright, now I'm going to cut up my peppers the same size. Just nice, fine dice on these. And I'm probably going to do three sides. And I'll save that side for a salad. Or anything else I might need it for. So I'm just going to cut it into strips. and then make fine dices. So then I'm gonna go ahead and add that to the sausage also. What we're going to do now is preheat your oven to 350 degrees. I'm going to be taking some butter and I'm going to lightly coat a 9 by 13 baking dish. You can even use some cooking spray if you want to do that also. But you know it's Christmas. Why not? Joseph has got two crescent roll packages here. Now these are a 10 count of just the original crescent rolls. So he's going to open these up. with his uh, special technique. <laughs> oh, it's special. <laughs> it works. Okay, so what we're going to do is he's going to cut these like lengthwise or what into like disc and then cut those into quarters. So you have pieces of crescent roll. All right, go ahead. How we're thick just, should we make them? Just bite sized pieces. So we're going to have them in four pieces like that, or, you know, however you want to get them into your casserole dish here. And then we're just going to place them in there. All right, when we get this all done, we're going to bring you back. Okay, so as he's placing them in our 9 by 13 and baking dish, he's going to give them room because we want room in between all of that to get the good stuff in between all of the pieces of crescent rolls. Mm -hmm. Now these were the two 10 count original size, so if you get the bigger size, you might not want to use them all. <laughs> and then you could go up against the sides also, since we did put some butter along the edges there too, so they can kind of bubble up along the sides, because this is a bubble up dish. Okay, next what we're going to do is take our sausage vegetable mixture here that was all pre-cooked by us and sprinkle it all over the crescent roll pieces here. Make sure you get in all of those nooks and crannies. 
Oh, that sausage smells delicious. Yeah, it does. Looks so Christmassy, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Right there. Right there. <laughs> Okay, Joseph did a great job on that. What we're going to do is place this off to the side and we're going to start making our egg mixture. Okay, I've got Joseph's favorite part of doing any kind of meal. That's cracking eggs. Listen, that's not my favorite part. <laughs> All right. We have eight eggs here. He's going to crack them individually into a little ramekin here and then put that into our big bowl and that's going to get us started. Mm -hmm. All right, egg one. Into there, yeah. Here. So crack into here. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna get Mr. Show off. And then in the bowl it goes. One hand. Okay, what we're going to add to our eight eggs is one cup of milk. Now, while Joseph is doing that, I'm going to add some salt. So add about a quarter of a teaspoon, quarter teaspoon of some pepper, quarter teaspoon of some garlic powder. Now, any of these spices you don't have to add if you don't want to. That's just what we like in ours. And then I'm going to give it a little paprika, nice little flavor, color. There we go. All right, got the milk going in? Yep, it's going in. And then Joseph's gonna blend this very well using a whisk. All right, so he's just getting started by just breaking the yolks and then he's gonna go fast. All right, good? Yep. Is it nice and fluffy? Nice and fluffy. All right. Okay, what we're gonna do now is we're going to add eight ounces of any kind of shredded cheese that you like. Now, if you can use cheddar, Mexican blend, I'm gonna be using a Monterey Jack cheese here. It's gonna add a nice flavor. So we're gonna take this out. Here you go. I'm gonna have Joseph pour the cheese in and mix that in. All of it? Yep. All right, and then just stir that up. And then we're gonna bring our casserole back over here. What Joseph's gonna do now is pour it all over the sausage mixture. Now, do you wanna use a ladle? <laughs> that would probably be best. Yeah. Okay. We don't wanna see a mishap unfold. And then just evenly pour it all over so it's all going into those crevices of the crescent rolls and in between the meat and the vegetables. Mm -hmm. And just think of all of the variations, the options you can do, you know. This is just kind of our version, so go with it and, you know, put in more, take out less, whatever you want to do. Right, and we're just gonna kind of flatten this all out. Now you can good. take it and just kind of shake it a little bit, hit it on the counter. All right, we are ready to place this in our preheated oven at 350 degrees for about 30 to 40 minutes. Make sure you check it, like kind of like you were doing a cake. You get a toothpick and go into the center and make sure you're not coming out with any kind of dough. And we want to make sure that the eggs are set. Okay, we'll be back. Yep. This casserole smells amazing. Yeah, it does. Look at this. Now, I pulled this out of the oven at the 45 minute mark. Keep an eye on it, okay? It may not be 45 minutes in your oven, but for mine, it was. It's nice and golden brown on the top here. Mm -hmm. Now, it rose over the dish as it was cooking, and then when I pulled it out and let it sit for about 10 minutes to kind of pull itself all together, it came down some, so that's good. All right, we're gonna cut into this and we're gonna give it a try. Yes, we will. All right, so just go around the edges of your dish here and just kind of make sure that nothing's stuck.
Joseph and I are going to give it a try. Bubble up crescent roll breakfast casserole. Have it for brunch too. What a delicious breakfast casserole for people to wake up to. You can make this the night before and then place it into the oven with the same instructions. You can freeze it for a few days and then do the same thing. Just pop it out of the freezer, set it on your counter to unthaw a little bit and then pop it in the oven. So it's ready to go for you. You can spend as little time as that we did in the morning building this up and then popping it into the oven. Either way, it makes a really delicious casserole. All right, you ready for your bite? Oh, I'm ready for <laughs> He's my bite. He's like, Mom, please. <laughs> Here we go. Mm. Mm. All right. Mmm. Mm, really good. It's really good. Mm -hmm. mm. Some of us wouldn't know. <laughs> well, you will soon enough. Okay, I want to show y'all how those crescent rolls baked up. They're very light and fluffy. There's no gummy here at all. It's very delicious and it's all flavored with that sausage and the seasonings that we did. Give us a like, thumbs up. Yep, give us a thumbs up. Make sure you comment down below what you think, what you would put into yours. Oh, yeah. And make sure you share this all over your social media because you know people are going to want to make this for Christmas or heck, anytime. <laughs> and if you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below with that bell notification so you'll always know when shows like this one here are posted. Yep. Yep. You'll never miss one with us. <laughs> All right. We will see you on the next episode.